Welcome, collectors and friends. You have joined me for another brand new Diecast Emporium review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new to market first gear 187 scale, which is also HO scale for the model railroaders out there. Komatsu D155AX 8 bulldozer in a waste handler configuration. The price at the time of this video's publication is around $50 US, not including tax or any shipping charges. And you can, as I did, pick this model up from constructiondiecast.com. There will be a direct URL link in the video's description. All you have to do is simply click on that link and it will take you straight to where you can pick one of these up and add it to your collection. Back to the model review. This is the same box style, whether it's 150th scale, uh, 125th scale, or in this case, 187th scale, that Komatsu has used to brand their collectibles for a number of years. You have Komatsu written in white with a blue outline. You have the first gear logo at the bottom right. D155AX-8 guarantee. I'm going to screw that up at some point through this video. Let's just call it the waste handler bulldozer. On this side, you have... Again, its name and description in multiple different languages. And here is a nice and pleasant surprise. Check this out. That is a picture of the real machine at work in presumably a landfill. Or maybe your buddy from college who has his house currently looking like that. But we're not going to get into that. Anyway, under here, first gear. Here is again the item number, which normally I personally wouldn't pay too much attention to. But honestly, with the length of the title of this model, probably the best thing to do is just to put this thing in Google. Uh, if you're not going to click on the URL link, that's obviously the best thing to do. All you got to do is click the mouse once. But if you want to look this up, it's 80-0347, and that should bring up this model as well in the Google machine. Okay, we've gone all over the basic stuff, all over the information that you need to know. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it. So why am I excited over this thing? Well, you know me. I'm getting older. Space is becoming increasingly premium over here at Diecast Emporium. And honestly, over the last decade, as much as I love 150th scale, honestly, I like 187 scale just as much. And it's nice to finally have a waste handler dozer in 187 scale that's not 3D printed. And uh, from what I've seen so far, this looks like it's a very nice piece. So you can see I've taken it out of the box. It is housed in these two pull-apart formers, so you got to separate those. There are no twist ties, thankfully, so you don't have to jump off a bridge when you're done watching this video because it's taken us 5,000 hours to get it out. Once you do that, your model is ready to be displayed, and it is out of the packaging. Okay, let's begin the review by taking a look at the decals that are on the model. I have no idea where my pointer ran off to, so I'm going to use a Sharpie marker, so you're just going to have to bear with me. So you have Komatsu on the front right here, which hopefully you can see. I really like this beacon light up on top. Um, along with some work lights. Again, there's a warning graphic here, Komatsu, waste handler logo, and the D155AX-8 on both sides here and here. The tracks look as though they are metal, but in fact they are not metal. They seem to be made of a high-grade plastic material, but that does allow them to be moved by hand freely in either forward or the reverse direction. So again, um, passing marks there. Now, there is a color mismatch between the die cast components and the plastic components on the model, but it is very hard to tell unless you are standing directly over the model. Now, this may bother some collectors more than others, but just know that there is a color difference. For example, the cylinders, the lift cylinders for the blade, the hydraulic ram covers, those are slightly brighter because they are plastic than the die cast components that make up the majority of the tractor or the bulldozer's body. Also, this back piece, which I can only presume as I am no expert on waste handling machines, is a counterweight to offset the weight of the heavy blade and the heavy tractor. That is also that same plastic material and it is not the same color of the die cast components. That said, there are also some nice things that I wasn't really expecting on this, such as the track scrapers, both on the front and at the rear. Uh, there's also, I guess that that is an extension for the air cleaner uh, or a cover for the exhaust, again, just to keep it free and clean from uh, the debris that would happen in a landfill, for example. 
Also, if you look at the blade, this is probably what the nitpickers are going to have the biggest problem with at this mo with this model. Because let's be honest, we all have something we have to complain about. And that is the visibility perforations are not stenciled through at the top portion of the blade. And I'll be honest, it would have looked excellent had First Gear been able to do this. However, with the model being so small in 187 scale, it still looks remarkably good, even though the visibility perforations are not perforated through. All right, let's take a look at the functionality. I already showed you that the tracks do work well, and uh, they will move in either direction by hand. If I had a surface that had some friction, I'm sure they would roll. But let's take a look at the basic other functionality, and that would be how does the blade go up and down, and maybe a little bit of tilt. I can tell you that the blade goes up, and it will support its own weight. You can see that. Can we get a little bit of tilt without breaking anything? Yeah. Matter of fact, you can get a fair bit of tilt. You can see the cylinders exposed there. As for angle left and right, pretty much non-existent on this model. I mean, there is a slight degree of play, but certainly nothing worth noting, at least in my opinion. Taking a look underneath the bulldozer, you can see copyright first gear licensed by Komatsu and some other casted details such as the bottom of the blade and the bolt detail on the tracks. That's pretty much it for the 187 scale or HO scale Komatsu D155AX-8 waste handling bulldozer. One thing that immediately comes to my mind before I end this review is the fact that they have this casting in 187 scale now. Really, the, the immediate question is, okay, they've done a D155AX-8 waste handler. You basically have the tooling. It would not surprise me in the least if in the near future First Gear decides to, hey, let's put a standard earth-moving blade, maybe a ripper on the back, and we will sell that as a separate model. That's what I would do. I have no insight. I have absolutely zero um, in at First Gear, so I have no idea if that is already in the plans. But if it were me, and I was making the decisions at First Gear and the Komatsu Licensing Department, that is definitely something I would want to push because it is very doable, because you already have the expense done with the basic tooling. All you'd have to do is tool the blade and a ripper, and that is not expensive, and you would very, very easily recoup your ROI if you sold that. In fact, I think that version would probably sell 10 times better than this version. Okay, that's my review of the Komatsu Waste Handling Dozer in 187 scale. Overall, final thoughts, great model. It's nice to see the waste sector getting a new model in HO scale. In my opinion, it's a, it's a sector or an area that is widely misrepresented in all scales, especially HO scales. And it's nice to see a model being made. Now, also in doing research before I did this video, there is a internal run for um, one of the, I think it's Republic or something, um, that, that did these, but they have completely rubber tracks and it's not as detailed. Um, but this is the one that you can get if you want one in your collection. And quite honestly, this is a much better version than that lower price mass produced internal run um, for Republic Recycling or whatever the company is. It escapes my mind. Uh, but there you go. Now, before we end the video, if you, were, if you are here just to see the review of this model, click off now. But if you are here to see some other uh, waste vehicles in 187 scale, stay tuned because I brought a handful out to show you. Released very, very recently, also by First Gear in 187 scale. This is the Volvo L180H in a waste handling configuration. So it has the bucket along with the mechanism here on the front. So these two would look great if you are in a landfill or a sorting facility, for example. A recycling facility is another one. Just another example of what you might want to add to your collection. Here's another piece of equipment that I have. I believe this is by Hobby and Works Publishing. This is a bit older, at least a decade old. And uh, this is a case material handler with the grapple. Again, another great 187 scale model. One that I would highly recommend picking up if you don't have one already. So that's some heavy equipment. Allow me to show you four trucks. And again, three of these four trucks will be made by First Gear. And the last one will be made by... Um, Zycon models. So this is the this is the Mac side loader recycling truck or garbage truck. Take your pick. 
Again, produced a handful of years ago. This has a licensed McNeilis body on it, but nothing functions on it. Uh, when these trucks were made in 187th scale and they showed us the original tooling, all of the HO collectors, myself included, were really, really excited for these trucks, only to be let down by the fact that absolutely nothing is functional on here except the wheels roll. Um, it is what it is. I bring you guys facts. That's the fact. All right. If one Mac isn't enough, how about a second one? This is a side loader truck. This is what they call a front loader garbage truck. There's a, there's a theme here. I try to keep all my trucks around the same color, whatever I'm doing. Both of these are available in a variety of different color schemes, and then there were some special ones done that were only available for the Mac Online store. But when I was thinking waste management um, and having a waste fleet, I kind of wanted to stick with white for whatever reason. So that's why all of these are going to be white predominantly. All right, if two Macs aren't enough, how about three? Again, another first gear model. This is actually quite a nice piece. And I have yet to review these on the channel. Don't know why. Time just escapes you, escapes me sometimes. But I do have all of the variations of this roll-off container truck by First Gear. And this is a Mac Granite. Again, a few different colors for not only the cab, but also the roll-off container that's available. And the one that I will end the video with is probably the Holy Grail for most uh, garbage slash waste collectors in 187 scale. And it really isn't that hard to get even today. This is the Zyklon Models uh, International 7600 with a VAC body on it. This is the truck that sucks, only in purpose, not actually the literal meaning. Uh, fantastic model, again, very little functionality, but it looks great on the layout or in a diorama. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you are an HO scale heavy equipment collector, and or a collector of recycling or waste machines, don't hesitate on picking this up. It does have its shortfalls, but overall, its positives far outweigh that, and for 50 bucks in today's money, you really can't go wrong. Would not surprise me to see these things take off in value as time goes on. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.